Today we're going to continue our study of deflection curves, but today we're going to go in the reverse direction. The last time we talked about this, we used differentiation to start with a given deflection curve to determine something about the applied loads and the internal forces. Today we're going to go in the opposite direction, and if we're given, for example, the bending moment diagram, can we, de can we determine what the resulting deflection curve little v looks like? Okay, so let's say that we were given a simply supported beam with some uniform load applied to it of magnitude Q. The beam has length L. Okay. Now, what we want to do is we want to solve the differential equation EI V double prime equals to M for little v. Okay, so since we have the specification for the beam and it's loading, we can compute the bending moment function and then integrate twice to compute little v. Okay, so let's let's write down m of x. So m of x for this example is simply q l over two x minus q x squared over two. So we end up with plugging in the specific form for m. We have that E I V double prime is equal to Q L X over two minus Q X squared over two. Okay, so now in order to compute V, we just integrate two times. Okay, so the first integration, right, we're gonna take this side and integrate it, and then we're gonna integrate this side as well. Okay, so if we integrate the left side, we get EI V prime plus some constant of integration that we'll solve for in a minute equals Q L X squared over four minus Q X cubed over six. And now what we have to do is we have to evaluate the unknown integration constant. Okay, now what we know about the a simply supported beam, V prime represents the slope, right? So this beam is gonna deflect into a some shape like that so that we know at L over two that V prime better be equal to zero, right? The slope of that beam better be equal to zero. So we can use that information now to solve for our unknown constant, C1. So we, we have EI V prime, and let's evaluate V prime now at L over two, since we know that it's equal to zero. And that is equal to, now everywhere you have x on the right-hand side, you plug in L over 2. Okay, so this whole right-hand side, then we have the constant, right? I forgot to put that in there. That's the whole point. This whole term goes to zero. 
because the slope at L over 2 is 0, leaving us with an exact expression for C1. So C1 has to be equal to the right-hand side. Okay, so now we can plug that in and determine that V prime is equal to minus Q over 24EI L cubed minus 6LX squared plus 4X cubed. Okay, so that's one integration. Okay, and if you want to, I did a little bit of algebraic simplification here. You can look at my notes for more details. So now we want to integrate one more time in order to compute the deflection function V. All right, so if we do that, we end up with E I V is equal to Q L X cubed over 12 minus Q X to the fourth over 24 minus Q L cubed X over 24 plus C2. And it doesn't matter what side of the equation the, the unknown integration constant is at, it will work out either way. Okay, now in order to evaluate C2, we need to know something about V. And we know for a simply supported beam that at x equal to 0 or x equal to L, V better be equal to 0. The deflection cannot be anything but 0 because at those two points, it's supported. So we know that V, well, usually we like to take as many zeros as we can. It simplifies things. We know that V at 0 is equal to 0. So if we plug that in up here, we get that the left-hand side is 0. We also get that everything on the right-hand side is 0 except C2. So we now know simply that C2 is equal to 0. And therefore, we're done. We can write down that V, our deflection, is minus Qx over 24Ei times L cubed minus uh, let's see, 2LX squared plus x cubed. And now we know what the deflection of that beam will look like given the loading that we started with. And likewise, you can start... Today I showed you two integrations starting from EIV double prime equals to M, but you can also start from EIV triple prime equal to V or EIV quadruple prime equal to minus Q, depending on what information has been given. If I, you know, gave you, for example, Q, and I wanted you to start from EIV quadruple prime, you would take four integrations starting with Q and uh, resulting with V. If I wanted you to start from a shear force diagram, you would take three integrations to solve for the deflection.